What's up guys, welcome back to Dead Space 2. Quick little cutscene for you guys, so enjoy. Isaac, there's a gunship docked here. What? Is it damaged? Not that I can tell. Isaac, do you hear me? We're gonna make it out of here alive. One of us is. It's too dangerous for you to stay here, Ellie. What are you talking about? Just get your ass in here. I'm starting a system check now. A system check, eh? So hey guys, fair warning, this episode, well, at least in the beginning, is really cutscene heavy, so I'm not going to be commentating over it because I do personally, like, really appreciate the depth and, um, <laughs> I don't want to get all heady into this, but I do think that the guys up at uh, Visceral Gaming made a great, great cutscene coming up. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to have to wait a couple of awkward moments before it starts, actually, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, just walking along here. Ooh, power note. Good thing I got that. I'm, I imagine that's really easy to miss if you're just running along here, getting through the door as quick as you can. Checking down the hallway. Things look clear. And yeah, let the show go on. Main power on. Auxiliary systems booting. to talk now? Why? So I can let you go, too? I can't do that, Nicole. I never wanted to let you go. A lot happened that we never wanted. Isaac. Touch me. I don't think that's a good idea. Isaac, please. Make us whole. I can't. I don't know about you guys, but I just love the mood that they set over here. So... so fitting. I don't know what Providence protects you, Clark, but it ends here. I have 200 armed security personnel, and every entrance is covered. Even if you do get in, you won't get above. Alright, now that we've got all that out of the way, we're gonna get into some combat in a little bit. Now, this is where the difficulty does <laughs> indeed ramp up, so, wish me luck. There's gonna be so many freaking necromorphs, and there's also one thing I'd like to point out. This is why I'm kinda disappointed in this game, because we basically see three, maybe four enemies at most, and they're pretty overused, pretty common. Like the the slasher, the the first like main necromorph you fight, this guy right here. And actually, I'm just gonna wait to let these guys like go group up there. You'll see why in a little bit. But yeah, the puker, the other one was over there, pretty common enemy, and lurkers and leapers, both the the little baby shooter and then the two armed tail spiky guy that <laughs> goes really fast. That's basically all the enemies you've ever seen in this game, except for some rare exceptions. And I'm just disappointed at the lack of diver lack of diversity, because you know, I'm uh, proactive. Wait, proactive? <laughs> I don't I don't know what that means, but kill these guys. And I do pretty well for some reason, like I was at, at the beginning, but later, ugh, it just doesn't go so well for me. Um, kill this guy. So yeah, what was I trying to say? Proactive? <laughs> Isn't that some kind of like acne medication? No, I don't, I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Kill these guys. Ugh, my face! Now, fortunately, these guys aren't surrounding me. That's why I kind of let them gather up first. Otherwise, you will get overwhelmed really, really easily. 
these guys on the wall. They're pretty annoying. I never usually take out my pulse rifle. That was pretty, pretty uncommon. Because I did buy like <laughs> 200 pulse, uh, no, not pulse, plasma gun bullets. So use these to our benefit. Ugh, I missed. Curse you, Necromorph. Now, as always, try to use the spears as uh, free bullets, really. Because they do a bunch of damage, especially if you have your rig, rig upgraded. Kill that guy right there. Oh, yeah. Mmm, exploders. <laughs> no. In my opinion, the exploders are probably the most dangerous enemy you fight. Not not because they're like quick or hard to kill, but because they tend to drop right on top of you, and I have died a couple times. Um, since episode 19, I have died about three times. You just haven't seen them because I didn't want to show them. Uh, not, not really because I didn't want to put a death count in there. It's not really that. In, in fact, in all honesty, it all, probably would have been easier just to show the death than put the death count there, but... I just wanted to put um put a, put a bit for, put a bit of finesse, you know, save you guys some time, cause you don't want to see a bad player, do you? What was I gonna say? Oh, okay, the places I died were one was in the elevator of death, of course. <laughs> I think I died twice there actually, and another time an exploder dropped on me and killed me in the medical bay, I want to say. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. I I'm not terrible. <laughs> I probably couldn't do this on hardcore. Well, I probably could with a bunch of practice, but I'm not really. Um, I thought that was a thingy right there. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah. The thing about hardcore is you can only save three times throughout the whole game. And of course, whenever you die, you have to restart at your save point. So, either you have to be really good at not dying, or really good at killing stuff. <laughs> Preferably both. Because there's not as many death traps in this game as there were in Dead Space 1, so which I found a little surprising given the, well, not really. Dead Space 1, <laughs> the second part of that was really freaking hard. You see, one cool mechanic I liked about that like were soldiers that had stasis packs. They like, a, once they got transformed into necromorphs, their stasis was fused with them. But <laughs> incidentally, instead of making them slower, the stasis made them insanely fast. So yeah, that just added a uh, bit of difficulty. Let's go the right way here. <laughs> you guys feeling me? The right way. Alright, there's a magazine down here. We can check on that. I'm not too interested in that. What's this? See you later, suckers! <laughs> Let me just veer slightly to the right. You know, this is a little disappointing too because these, this Isaac was basically spotlighted and if, if they really honestly missed him walking to the right, to a doorway, then these are freaking stupid bodyguards. But yeah, um, there's not a lot more stupid scenes like that in the in the coming up uh, game, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, what would have been cooler was maybe like if he got grabbed by a necromorph a little cutscene, maybe they would have had reason to think he was dead. But I digress. What's over here? Ooh, I really like this part actually. Now you can't walk out there; you would you would die anyways. Let me see, actually stasis canister that will come in handy later yeah locked so you couldn't even if you wanted to and I guess you'd have to be suicidal <laughs> if you wanted to let's go in here what's in here oh, contact energy cool I'll take it make sure my guns are loaded <laughs> become a habit of mine um, ammo ammo save station let me save it really really quickly before I do this because I <laughs> might mess this up okay take that off and battery out And really cool thing, I'm, I, I'll just let you guys watch. Just watch. You compromised the compound, you idiot! If any of them reach the marker, fall back! Fall back to the marker chamber! We have to seal it off! Man, these guys are huge wimps. I mean, I've taken out like thousands of these guys and I don't even have a military background <laughs> security guards my butt so once we ah there we go the door opens auto disengage oh we already collected that that's right I was like what in the <laughs> okay so coming down here one thing we're not gonna want to do is barge out there cuz promise me I don't know I don't care how good you are you're gonna die if you go out there right now because there are literally at least a dozen that will attack you at the same time and you you don't have the stasis, you don't have the ammo, you, you don't have the weaponry. Well maybe you do. 
in which case um, post a video response and show me up but yeah I tried it for fun and <laughs> I didn't last very long what you, you, what you are gonna wanna do is just chill out here and they'll come to you and it's kinda like the if you build it they will come thing and Necromore yeah there he is once again I really hate those things not because they're <laughs> top priority targets because I can't really cut off their limbs. I don't really see how you can, like their wings. I guess you could shoot for the structural support, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to stop complaining about them. But yeah, just just wait for the room to go clear and you should be got. Look, watch this guy's in the teleport actually. We turn around and there he is. <laughs> just shoot that guy. <laughs> One thing you guys probably noticed is I always kill him in the same way. I shoot out the legs and then I shoot out one of the arms, typically the right arm, depending on how far to the right I am, and yeah, just stab him with it. <laughs> so now we can go out here. You won't be overwhelmed if you waited long enough. Um, usually <laughs> there would be necromorphs to the left of you, to the right of you, those tiny little necromorphs that, oh that was a close dodge. And let's kill these guys. I decided why not I just use my pulse rifle for a little bit. Um, because I have so much ammo for this gun, I really don't like it for uh, general combat. And in fact, I only really use it for the secondary fire when I'm really fighting full grown Necromorph. Mostly because it's not that strong. It doesn't really have any stopping power. And when you're fighting multiple Necromorphs, then you're better off with something else. Much better off. Kind of makes me wish there was like a grenade, but hey, that would probably make it too easy. <laughs> Let's go into the light over here. <laughs> Red light, that's funny. Kind of reminds me of my salesman days. You know, I used to work at Kmart a long time ago. And, you know, blue light special. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever remember that. But, ooh, what's over here? Boxes? Oh, I can't reach around it. Let's, let's go the long way. Fine, game, fine. Isaac, where are you going? I don't know. Well, that's why I'm here, Isaac. To show you the way. It doesn't seem to be working for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think you can do it during the cutscene. That's why I didn't want to work. But hey, he, she just gives you another uh, dealio. What's the word? Um, waypoint. There you go. Ha! I thought of it. <sighs> Looks like we're coming up on the episode. Man, this let's play is almost over, isn't it? Probably less than five episodes. Maybe I can hit 30 with like the 31, 31th <laughs> in the credits. Man, I don't want this game to be over. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, what's this over here? One of those security clearances? Oh, that's not too bad. Let's just bring this guy conveniently placed. At least it's not like at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Backtrack through like all these necromorphs and let's open this guy. I actually want to take this guy with me. Yeah, he can be my body double. <laughs> That'll teach those necromorphs. Hey, hey, hey! Calm down there. Hey, I saw you. I saw you. Um. Well, I guess that that'll be an episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.